Hey everyone, this is Val Calibre and we're next to, and today we're going on a world wheel tour of the world because the super secret thing that you need to have everything is in uh, Sigma Stage 3 and not hidden in one of these levels. We already super cleared Sponge and we already super cleared Duck, so we got at least one thing to get from each one, and the first one's gonna be in the Wild West Coyote world. For one big major reason you're gonna see soon enough. This is uh, where the Sigma, like the X under door is, by the way. So if you don't got wheel when you get here, well, it sucks to you, I guess. You, if you don't game over, you're just losing out. I thought that they were all available without anything, but uh, it's obvious I remembered wrong. Right here. It's been a while since we've been here, but right here is the single most important upgrade in the whole game. This man's modify your main drive unit. Now Mega Man's gonna have a C, D, and E drive. And if you plug in your iPhone, maybe even an F. That lets me air dash. As you can imagine, having an air dash is hilariously helpful and powerful. And also gives him knee pads. Uh, however, considering I went through most of the game right here without needing it, uh, I guess it's not nearly as absolutely necessary as I thought. You can't also air dash after a dash jump. And sometimes dash jumping is just flat out a better idea. This is the Enigma, which is Mega Man X. And we're gonna be using these dash boots to get another extremely important thing. And uh, which gonna basically gonna help us get pretty much everything we're lacking. Oh no, there's no ostriches to upset. Better go away! Right up there. Remember me mentioning about something being up there? There we go. If you, got... you can also use the wire sponge adapter, but naturally it's significantly easier using uh, using this air dash, and it gives you a swim modifier. X Buster, yes, now you know, be able to charge energy in both arms at once, gonna let you do the Kamehameha wave, except not even. And there, there, Mr. Light is like outright, just outright saying what's going on. So remember the big pink, like, laser, frost bunny laser from X1? This game's a little bit cooler. He goes like, he's doing this on his own right now. You charge it and you get two shots. And like, look, look what I'm gonna display here, you can just shoot one of them, and then you keep your purple charge, and later you can shoot out the other one. That's super cool! And naturally all your weapons uh, are gonna get a second charge. Um, in this game, there's a lot more, it feels like, secret exit that require you... That's interesting, I don't know if it's possible to get up there without, like, freezing the guy. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, uh... There's a lot more secret exit that require you to use a charge of your of a, another weapon. But at the same time, I feel like less of them are that useful for uh, just fighting purposes. This is going to be even fiercer in Mega Man X3, where some charge weapon exists literally only for the purposes of getting stuff. Like, for example, now that we've got... Uh, please. It's the last one. Alright. Okay, first of all, you know what? Let's look at what this thing is. Look at that. It's pretty cool, right? You could almost see. Alright. Dragon tank, go away. So as you can tell, this is a thing that does that. But that's not gonna be good enough. Can you just... do it from here? Okay, yeah, I guess you can. A little bit of quiet there as I was reevaluating my life, and there we go. Life fully reevaluated in these easy steps. Bubble Man stage is weird because it's the only level that I know of in any of the Mega Man series, spin offs, and everything included, where to get a thing, you need to actually return with the boss weapon. That's just kind of weird to me. Like, it's, it's just kind of awkward to me, I don't know. Hey, fish, you're in the way. Check out what I can do with hay. A sandwich, wow. So here's a fun thing you can do. So, fun fact, supercharged weapon of the bubble shield is the shield weapon. Not only that, 
the bone shield lets you jump extremely high. <laughs> it's just like, it's... You just super jump way up there. Uh, I'm gonna have to hurry up here, though. There we go. Like, I'm pretty sure there's another way to get that one. That one gets a hard, but to get the other power up, you basically need to do the exact same thing, but elsewhere in the level. It's very creative. It put a lot of thought into that. I think it's up there, maybe? Is that weird? Yeah, there we go. Okay, not quite. There's another place. Here, they're just kind of admitting that, yeah, no, yeah, this is a thing we're making you do. <laughs> okay, maybe from here. Oh, definitely from here. I might be. There we go. There's the. There's an E tank. Now, if you do it right, remember when I showed in the Sigma Castle they can jump off of the edge of the water? Yeah, that's, that's what you do there, as I've just demonstrated. You know, show and tell, both at once. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, I thought it was way later on the level than that. Yeah, it's really on mark. It's like, it's like, oh, we got the helmet that shows you stuff, so we can just put things in really arbitrary places. Way to find a place to hide a hat, Luigi! The sense mod 5 body armor, you see! Absorb damage and transfer it into explosive weapon energy! Yeah, it doesn't just reduce uh, the damage taken in this, in this game, it also does a thing. It's basically your bomb, but, like, check it out, he's gonna show it for me. It's gonna go like, WAAAAAAA GIGA CRASH! The cool animation and everything. And then the way it charges up is kind of original. It's whenever you get hit by uh, an energy. Like like an energy weapon, like a laser or something. That's when it triggers. And that's when... Uh, that's how you... That's, when, that, that's how you charge it. I'm saying things while saying things means I'm saying... And I think that I... I uh, already... Super cleared Mafalda there. I only got Centipede Dandelion. And I think that'll be everything. Oh no, yeah, yeah, there's two, there's the last sub tank and the last heart is gonna be here. So it's absolutely important that I do not trigger, that I not activate the security systems here. Because I need one of the, I need the blocks, of, the block at the end, exactly where it is. I'm pretty sure I talked about this. When I was doing the stage originally, but like it's not always like the simplest thing in the world to woo. Like here, like what's the easiest way to do this? I'm not sure. Just be lucky. Cause I need that guy up there. Let's see. If I go f sufficiently far away, does it return? Oh, well in that case it's super easy. All this time as a child I was an idiot. <laughs> you can just make it return. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Why am I so dumb? There's a heart. Uh, some tank somewhere, I'm sure. Wait, wasn't it up there? I think it is, and that you're supposed to use the cube there or something. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh, I was supposed to use the cube, and then, then I didn't use the cube, I just used that. And there we go! We got everything! We are ready to go into a pretty long... Pretty difficult level with a pretty silly hidden thing. Today might be a short episode, I have no idea, but I'm just off from an hour long Mario, so. Ba da ba ba da, trumpet sound.